Welcome back to Miller's TV. In this video, we will talk about the three important things that you need to remember before you cook your favorite recipe using positive Miller's. Let's get it started. The good news is that replacing rice and wheat with Miller's, you are not going to miss your favorite food recipes at all. You can prepare almost all kinds of recipes that you are used to and also you can try new recipes. In fact, millet recipes are tastier and healthy. What else we want? It's great! But you will need to remember three important things before you prepare any recipe using the positive millets. What are they? The first one, soak in water at least for 5 to 6 hours. Why? Because in these millets, the fiber content along with carbohydrates is arranged in layers from outer side to its core. So, these grains need to be soaked in water at least for 5 to 6 hours before you cook. By soaking these grains, it helps to break down phytic acid present in it thus helps body to absorb minerals like iron, zinc and calcium and also makes the digestion process much easier. Simply soaking helps make these grains more digestible so body can get all nutrients inside. If you don't soak these grains for enough time, you will see less or no health benefits by eating them and you may also experience indigestion problems. So, keep it as a mandatory process before you cook millets. Another benefit of soaking, it speeds up the cooking process and also it can save gas some electricity too. The next one, do not use polished millets or pearled millets. Yes, you have chosen these grains as your food as a healthier choice. So, use only unpolished millets to gain all its health benefits. In the polished grains, you will lose most of its nutritional values. Then why would we eat it? So always go for unpolished ones. And the third one, don't mix different millets into the same recipe. Yes, do not mix the different millets for preparing one recipe. If you eat so, you will not gain those benefits. In our earlier videos, we learned about nutritional values present in each of these positive millets. Each of these grains has its significance in their nutritional values. If you mix these millets, you may overdose yourself with similar nutrition. So, it's always a healthier choice not to mix positive grains into same recipe. That is it. These are three important things that you need to remember before you cook any recipe using positive millets. Let's rewind these three important things real quick. Soaking in water for at least 5 to 6 hours, not using polished millets and not mixing different millets into the same recipe. And one more important thing you need to remember is we should not eat the same type of millets every day continuously. We should eat these positive millets in a systematic way in a rotation basis. We will explain that in detail in our upcoming videos. If you like this video, please click like button and don't forget to subscribe to Millers TV YouTube channel. By clicking bell icon, you will get notified soon as our new video is uploaded. Stay healthy to enjoy your life. See you in our next video. Thank you.